Solutions containing calcium ions are usually colorless. To test for the presence of calcium ions, we may employ the sodium hydroxide test. To a small sample of your solution, add a few drops of sodium hydroxide. Immediately, a white precipitate forms. Proceed to add an excess of sodium hydroxide. Notice that the white precipitate remains insoluble in excess sodium hydroxide. Next up is the ammonia test. To a small sample of the solution, add a few drops of ammonia. According to the textbook, no visible observations can be made. Even when we add excess ammonia, the textbook insists that no visible observations can be made. Is this really true? Well, let's try that again. Let us now repeat the experiment without disturbing the test tube too much. When a few drops of ammonia solution is added, notice that a faint white precipitate actually forms. We can compare this precipitate with the precipitate we obtain from the addition of sodium hydroxide. Notice that this faint white precipitate is not as dense the white precipitate obtained from the sodium hydroxide experiment. We may proceed to add an excess of ammonia solution. Very clearly, the faint white precipitate remains insoluble in excess ammonia.